I did that. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing a very, very forgotten Disney movie. Disney Channel movie, by the way. We're going to be watching 16 Wishes, which was probably one of like my favorite, but also my most frustrating Disney movies I watched on Disney Channel when I was a child, other than Wendy Wu. <sighs> that one pissed me off. But this one, 16 Wishes, I just really didn't like Debbie Ryan's character. Like, I just really did not like her at all. I did not like her at all. But today we're gonna be watching it. This is gonna be a world trip down memory lane because I haven't watched it since I was a child. But without further ado, let's get into it. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. I love my Raycons. I use my Raycons to edit. I use them to watch movies during commentaries and I use them when I'm at the gym working out. Raycons have great sound, a noise isolating fit. They're comfortable and they have a great battery life, which is really important to me because if I'm going to the gym, I don't want to lose my precious show or music while I'm working out because that would be a death sentence for me. Also, if I'm recording and I'm filming a video, I don't want my earbuds to die while I'm filming because that would really make a big mess up in my recording sesh. So if I'm doing long, like six hour film sessions, I need my Raycons to last that long. And they do, they have a six hour battery life on a single charge and that is perfect for me. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by making great sound for everyone. Their wireless earbuds start at about half the price of other audio brands on the market right now. Raycon offers their earbuds in a fun variety of colors and patterns. I have the black ones and the white ones, which I love because they match like everything, you know what I mean? They have seamless Bluetooth pairing, they have good bass, and they have no dangling wires or stems, so you can look great in your Raycons all the time. The company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and me, of course, your favorite celebrity. We're wearing them. Snoop Dogg is rocking them, and everybody wants to be like Snoop Dogg, so I would, I would get them, because then me and you can be matching, and then, you know, me, you, and Snoop Dogg can be matching as well. Raycon also has a 45 day free return policy so you can know if Raycons are just the fit for you. You guys can click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash trend to get 15% off your Raycon order. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video and without further ado, let's get into it. Why did Debbie Ryan have a singing career? I just feel like she didn't hit the songs like everyone else did. I take it back, the song's kinda good. Wait, the gum. Ew. Why do you guys pretend that guy was attractive? Why were y'all feeding this to me when I was a child? You guys really tried to feed me some weird shit when I was a child and make me believe that they were attractive. Why is her bed like that? Her bed's like weirdly small, you know what I mean? It was kind of a beautiful list though, right? Right? I did that. I just wasn't doing this when I was 16, but I do remember I did that with the gum. Cause I thought it was so cool to like chew up gum and, and use it as glue. She would all just get out and stop spoiling it. That's how you knew she wasn't gonna be a good narrator throughout this movie. You knew she wasn't gonna be a good protagonist you wanted to root for at all. Fuck you, they wanted to celebrate your birthday, bitch. Movies about turning 16 just like aren't it. And the way Sweet 16 became a phenomenon in American culture was so weird to me that Sweet 16s were like everything to people. All that happened was that you got your license. Other than that, nothing else changes. Americans just like love putting emphasis on weird birthdays. 16 is a big year for some reason. 18, oh, you're legal, you can vote, but nothing else really happens. All the big stuff happens when you're 21. You put weird emphasis on weird birthdays. Excuse you. The way she was standing, she said, Excuse you. Why'd she do that? I'm gonna skip breakfast. Oh, I thought she had this shit. That's always such a weird moment in like a movie or something where their stomach growls or something, something happens with their stomach and I can't tell if it's because they're gonna hurl shit or they just are hungry. Sorry about your house. How'd you know? Krista texted the entire junior class. What is that? Why would someone text that to the entire junior class? Like, what would I say about that? Oh my god, whatever her name is, got her, her house is infested with bees. Is that something to laugh about? Is that something to like, oh my god, it's so scandalous? Like, I don't really care. 
send my sin actually like, i mean i do care but i wouldn't care enough to laugh about it even my backyard is infested where am i gonna have my sweet 16 party why is she kind of like eating this movie up because like i feel like her other acting like is like not the best but now i feel like she's kind of like she's kind of performing well in this so this is the worst birthday in the history of birthdays. Oh, isn't that like a reference? Like this movie is called 16 Wishes and like 16 Candles. Like we're doing a little 16 Candles reference where she had the worst birthday. Everyone forgot her birthday. So? It could be a bomb. It's not a bomb. It's a birthday present. If it is a bomb, then it is a birthday present bomb. And I'll take that chance, bitch. But that's like not what she wished for. Like that was definitely not what she wished for. Ew. You Abby Jensen? Yes. No, cause you look weird. He looks like a magician's assistant. And I don't like it one bit. Go away, please. Ew. Oh, cause it's wish number one. It's correlated to wish number one. Hey, party tonight in my house. You're all invited. <laughs> I don't think they were laughing at the outfit. They were laughing at the, you're all invited. Party night in my house, you're all invited. She really, she turned up the volume on this. She turned up the volume on this movie. Read for yourself. <laughs> Why would you label it that? Literally, who would label their diary Krista Cook's personal diary? I would put Krista Cook's cooking book. Krista's cooking book. That was That's all I would put on there. Why is she so angry? She already knew, she, like, Krista didn't like her. Why do you need more details? Y'all are already enemies. You don't like her, she don't like you. We don't need to know the details to really understand it. Like, I don't really get it. Right, give it to me. This is filled with sound effects. You have no right to read that, it's mine. Then why is it all about me? Oh, you writing a dissertation on me, baby? I love the way she just looked. She went, and she looked back in. Look, like, good for you, Debbie Ryan. I loved it that like someone was giving her like directions to do this, and she was like listening to it. And she was like, "I got it. I got it. Thank you so much." Yeah, get it. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say to that. I really wish I could say something that would compliment her right there but i just really cannot i know what you're doing and it's not going to work how is it not going to work i got a magical fairy on my side i got a birthday fairy and you got money magic beats money every time baby you know it why did she growl like that who grow who made her growl like that do you think i could growl <laughs> I should not have been shown movies like this because like, I don't think I was the only one, but like, I feel like a lot of the times, like I kind of thought I was this intense. Like I had this mo movie narration in my head that I was like in a Disney Channel movie and I just really went overboard. <laughs> what if they were girlfriends? Ah! What if they became girlfriends at the end of the movie? <laughs> that would have kind of been they like forgive each other for everything and then they get together. Girl, you tried to hit her. That does not equal that much of a win, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, okay? you just hit her. MVP, MVP. Why are they so excited? If you hurt someone and injure them and you start doing that, like you're an absolute dick. You're a dick. You're a dick if you do that. That's not okay, Abigail. I'm glad you get screwed over in this movie. I don't want to support you in this mission. I don't want to support you. The winner of the most votes for the student body president is Abby Jensen. That's just like really rigged. That's just like really rigged. Cause like, I mean, to be fair, Krista wasn't running up against anyone. So she was gonna for sure win. But like, she kind of did put some, she put some work into it. Better luck next time, Krista. I really don't like Abby. I really don't like her. I really don't like her. She's really pissing me off. Today just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, for you. I know, it right? It's getting better and better. What? Why is she doing that? Can we just the way she just did that? She went. Both. Should go to someone who really wants it. Oh, like who? Like Krista? 
Uh, no, you're like your best friend. Well, I'm sure I'll do just fine. I'll have you to help me. I am not helping you. I am not helping you, bitch. I wanted it for my college application. He wanted it for his college application. I know he did. Okay, people make a horror I mean, like, okay, she made these wishes when she was a child, when she was eight or so, I feel like. Girl, why do you have the same mentality of when you were eight? That's like, that's a problem we need to fix. Because at 16... And I just wasn't doing it like this. In the teen realm of media we see, we see stuff from Disney that is like 16 year olds acting like eight year olds because it's targeted towards eight year olds. And then we have 16 year olds in like teen TV shows like, you know, Vampire Diaries, Teen Wolf or whatever. And they're literally like 20, they're acting like they're 20, 30s. That's the kind of freedom they have in those move those shows. I love how I know Debbie Ryan was like instructed in this scene that like Jay was falling in love with her or that he was like noticing how beautiful she is. So I know Debbie Ryan was like, like while filming it, like I love knowing that. I love knowing that there was a record that like, Jay's gonna be looking at you like he loves you. So you have to look very, very, very casual, very nonchalant and just candid. And so she was like, question number nine. This was really the turning point. It went from all fun and games to shenanig- to like all shenanigans to literal, this is real life, bitch. Everything's just fine. <laughs> Why did she do it with her tongue? It's just fine. <laughs> She's making some weird facial expressions. Spreads to- Thank you so much. The fact that that's what she wanted, she wanted to wear business casual all the time. It's just like, that's not the goal people want when they say they want to be treated like they're older. I don't want to be wearing business casual all the time. I don't want to be looking like I'm going to a courtroom all the time. I want to be able to drink legally. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah, a long time ago, I think. Shut up. Stop it. Stop pushing me, old lady. Stop pushing me, old lady. You're a MILF. Leave me alone. I'm in the middle of a very important birthday. He's like, I don't fucking care about your birthday. You are the worst best friend ever. Ma'am, you're harassing a ch minor. You're harassing a minor. But I'm not 18. No, you're 21. 22 today, happy birthday, sweetheart. Ah, in your face, in your face, bitch. Be careful what you wish for. It's not happy sweet 16, it's happy terrific 22. Come and visit. Anytime, except Wednesdays. Wednesdays are bowling night. That's secret for their fucking. Bowling night is code for having sex night. And I don't need to be 22 to understand that. I need your help. You sure do. I need your help. I don't want to wear business casual all day long. It's really not comfy. Your magic candles made a mistake. Candles don't make mistakes. People do. I really hated that thing of like, candles don't make mistakes, people do. Because it reminded me of that phrase where it's like, guns don't kill people, people do. <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I literally want to murder people when they say that. <laughs> like, I don't like it when you do that to me. Why'd she do- why does she do that in every single movie? Who told her to do that? And if no one told her, how did she come up with that by herself? Want to come with me? What, not as my date or anything. Oh, no. <laughs> of course not. Well, of course not. I would be a 15-year-old taking a 21-year-old to a birthday party. That's not legal. That's very much illegal. Big Kepler, ladies and gentlemen, our new student body- Literally, who cares? We're at a Sweet 16 party. I don't care about your, your school title, your political school party. Uh, title. So literally everyone gets what they want where Abby's not in the picture. That's so funny. I thought with me out of the way, Krista would win for sure. Krista? She hates competition. Literally everyone likes Krista. their life better without you in it. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's really mean. She just was a bitch. She's a child. I didn't get what that was. I don't get what that whole sequence was. <laughs> We're applying lipstick with compacts. What was, what was, that was just a cool choreographed scene. Did she kind of deserve this though? She kind of deserved it, like low key, like a little bit. Like she wasn't that great of a character. Like she really was not. Like I did not want to support her throughout this entire movie. So like maybe she deserved a little bit. Yo, imagine if she got into a car crash after this. 
dead. It's just like crazy how many other ways Disney movies could have ended. Like she could have gone to this car and just got into a brutal wreck and died because she doesn't know how to fucking drive and she's 22. You should have wished for a car with a full tank. Good thing you didn't use fucking glue for that and you used a dirty piece of gum. Jane, I made a pact. Oh my god, they corrupt her out of the picture! Oh my god, I literally, I literally start a revenge plan too if someone corrupts me out of the picture like that, bitch. Krista, if I could turn back the clock and change that day. This apology doesn't sound real to me. It does not sound sincere. I'm so sorry. Like, I would go back and change the clock if I could, but like, Jay's still my best friend right now, so like, you can't have him. I got a ride. You two? In one vehicle? It seems like they kind of want to be a throuple. Yeah, I called it. They kind of want to be a throuple. But Krista and Abby are like kind of girlfriends now. You are now the only person running for student body president. So you'll win for sure. Pity win. Yay. I love that. The hostess of the party, Abby and Krista. Woo! Happy Sweet 16 to the new couple. Abby and Krista. They just got together today. Yeah. This is a couple's party. They share the same birthday. They're a couple. <laughs> but I really did love this ending. It really made me feel so warm when I was a child. That was a weird sentence. It really made me feel like my heart was all warm when I watched it because she like learned such a good lesson and it was like, don't take what you have for granted. And I loved that message. I really did love it. I thought it was amazing. Kiss. I've been waiting this whole movie for them to kiss. He has tiny hands. He looks like if Phineas from Phineas and Ferb was a human, like a real life human. Are you going to start making a new wish list then? No more wish lists. There's literally nothing wrong with making wish lists at all. But like update them. Like don't keep the ones from when you were a child. Jeez. But sure a little bit. Ew, I did not like how she went into that kiss with her teeth showing. It was like <laughs> I didn't like it when she was puckering. You could see her whole front teeth. Don't want this. You were the bitch. You were not a good character, Celeste. You were a bitch. You screwed everything up. Bitch. No one asked for you. And you showed up anyways. I don't want to see like you're the fairy godmother. You were a bitch. Did Debbie Ryan ever make another song after this? It's not bad. I'm just saying like she just didn't have a niche in it. I would give this like movie like, mm, like compared to like the other Disney movies I watched, like Lemonade Mouth and Starstruck, like those are five out of fives. This is like three out of five. Like it's like, really not like my favorite ever. Now, although I think the life lessons in it were amazing, they're just like not on the same level as like, Lemonade Mouth and like Starstruck. Other than that, Debbie Ryan, may she rest in peace. She's not dead. Debbie Ryan, thank you for all the service you did for us as a as little kids watching Disney. She was the star when I was watching Disney religiously. Like she was she was the it girl. She was really the it girl. And thank you for your service. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You guys can comment down below anything you want to comment down below. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at TCOTLevel and Twitter is at LevelTrin. For leaving, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you are subscribed if you think you're subscribed because YouTube unsubscribes people. So just make sure you check that before you leave. And of course, turn on the notifications well as well so you guys can be the first ones to watch each video i post that's it for today i hope you liked it and i will see you next time bye